most recent videos, I was speaking about Raspberry Pis and the, the different types you can get for your Raspberry Pi and your Raspberry Pi setup. And also since I was setting my sister up with a brand new setup and a brand new Raspberry Pi. And I talked about the one that I got her. Now in that video, I did say that this video would date and there'd be more Raspberry Pis coming out. Little did I know how quickly it would date, and I got home from school today, and there's a new Raspberry Pi out, the Raspberry Pi 400. So today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what it is, and, you know, show some pros and cons of it. So, let's get started. <laughs> We're on the Raspberry Pi website right now, and you can see on the front page, Raspberry Pi 400. So I'm going to go to this one here, um, Raspberry Pi 400, the $70 desktop PC. Have a little look oh this is what it looks like and it looks really cool this isn't it um so what it is is just a raspberry pi inside a keyboard so of course you still need to buy the mouse and everything but it says that you can get just the computer on its own for 70 dollars um and then buy the kit so the kit costs a hundred dollars i think and you get the raspberry pi computer of course in the um in the keyboard, the Raspberry Pi 400. You get the USB mouse, you get um, the power supply, SD card with Raspberry Pi um, OS already on installed onto it, and you get the cable, and you also get a beginner's guide, a little booklet, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is a, got four gigabytes of RAM, so that's the same as what I got my sister. It still has the header and everything else you need on the Raspberry Pi, um, like the old Raspberry Pis. Anytime you hear me mention old Raspberry Pis, I mean the Raspberry, P Raspberry Pi 4B that we bought my sister last week. There's nothing old about them, it's just a really bad choice of words. Personally, um, I love the fact that the old Raspberry Pis, you can see everything that's going on. And you can um, create your own cases, you know, do anything really that you want to it. Also, if you are doing a project like over Halloween, we were doing something with pumpkins with our Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pis are really portable and you can fit them in the pumpkin. Whereas, I'm not sure you can really fit a pumpkin, a pumpkin, um, a keyboard in a pumpkin. And it's not the best thing if you wanted to use it as projects, but if you want it as your own personal computer, then it's absolutely great. Moved my sister's Raspberry Pi and her setup from my room onto the landing, and she's got her whole desk and everything. And she's been playing on her Raspberry Pi for a really long time, and do you like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> she loves it and she's even like writing her own little stories and everything, it's really cute and she loves her Raspberry Pi. So we're on her Raspberry Pi and we're now going to find out what the clock speed of her Raspberry Pi is. So I'm going to use this command here, hopefully you can see that. Um, so if I press enter, okay so this here is actually the clock speed of my sister's Raspberry Pi, of the ARM processor on my sister's Raspberry Pi. And you can see now it's about 750 megahertz, what do you think? It was about 600, uh, yeah, there we go, 600 um, megahertz at the moment. Um, so if we, do you want to play the video? Then, yeah, there we go. So we're playing a video here, and you can see that that's increased quite a lot there. Um, watch, what else should we do? Let's just move this around the screen. There we go. So you can see here how much the um, clock speed has increased. The Raspberry Pi 400 is advertised as 1.8 GHz, which is faster than the 4B at 1.5 GHz, and you just saw at a maximum of 1.5 GHz. We can overclock ours to go the same speed or even faster, but that's another video. So if your budget is small, don't let that extra speed sway you. They're the same chip. In short, the Raspberry Pi 400 is self-contained, it's faster and it has its own inbuilt cooling system, but you can make a cooling system and increase the clock speed, overclock the old Raspberry Pis, and you can fit those old ones in a pumpkin, whereas you don't, can't fit the Raspberry Pi 400s in a pumpkin. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye! Bye.